Basically, what we've done so far is we've talked about the Earth and its rotation and the apparent motion of the stars because of the Earth's rotation. Now we're going to start throwing in the Sun. Probably in a lesson or two, we'll throw in the Moon and we'll start thinking about how the Sun and the Moon move with respect to these stars and with respect to each other. And so we'll be looking at a lot of figures like this, where we have the Sun, we have the Earth, and we have the Moon. But none of these figures are to scale. And if, if you don't really appreciate that, you might walk away with the wrong... Although your brain knows, yes, the Sun is a hundred times bigger than the Earth, your brain might uh, forget about that and see the Earth just a little bit smaller than the Sun a hundred times. You might start thinking the wrong thing about the size and scale of the planets, the Moon, and the solar system. So what we're going to do right now, before we get into figures like this, we're going to build a scale model of the solar system. So let's see. We need a couple things here. We need a sun. For that, we'll use this, a four-inch kind of squishy ball. There's our sun. Now, if the sun is four inches across, that means the Earth is one millimeter across. And I searched around and found a one millimeter ball. No ball bearing. There's the Earth. Wow. So cute. <laughs> okay, I'm going to lose this thing. Yeah, okay. There's the Earth. Now, the moon would be a quarter of a millimeter, so I couldn't find That's really small. I couldn't find anything, so I figured I'll just cut a piece of chalk here. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 Okay, that wasn't planned. Okay, so here's the moon for comparison. Okay, now we got to get these things all to the right scale, so I've got a tape measure here. So we need a, a volunteer to come up here and hold the Earth and the moon. Okay, uh, come on. Uh, you who seem to be really happy about this, come on down here. And we'll need another volunteer to hold the sun. Okay? And you get to hold the sun. And so, let's see. We'll, we'll put the Earth and Moon down here since they're so small and easy to drop. So, here you go. Earth on one hand, Moon on the other. Now, you're going to have to put them in your fingers because they need to be about an inch apart. About one inch. Now, I know, you don't, can you all see that? No. Okay, so here. I'll put up the Earth-Moon system. So this is what he's holding in his hand. That's the scale. The Earth a millimeter, the Moon a quarter of a millimeter, one inch apart. That's what he's doing there. Now, you get the Sun and you get to come with me. Can you hold the Earth, the Moon, and the tape measure? Yeah, probably. It's a big deal. Okay, so let's see here. We got... Oh, these are centimeters. What do I, I need here? It's uh, 40 feet. I need feet. Yeah, I got feet here. So five. Okay, coming out here. Let's see where we're at. 28. Oh my goodness. It's actually 38 feet, so we went, we went too far. So you find 38 feet, move up in position. Okay, so that is the solar system. It's mostly empty space. That's, you know, a scale model of the solar system. So when we look at all these figures, except that one, which is to scale, uh, all the others will be out of scale, because you can imagine, if we draw the sun, the Earth's going to be smaller than a pixel. And, you know, that's no good for getting concepts across. So you have to keep this model in your head when you look at all the other images. Sound good? Most empty specs. Okay. Thank you. And, uh, I'll take the sun back, and I'll take the earth back, and you can keep the moon. Okay, thanks. 